guys welcome to my channel as you guys can see here i am going to show you everything that you need to start your own nail business or simply do a friend your own and whoever's nails so my nail supply store is always stocked up So as you see the stuff on this table, I spent almost oh, a little over $300. Um, most of the stuff on here is from Amazon, but there were some things that I wasn't too sure about to purchase on Amazon. So I just went to my local nail supply store, which is literally right up the street from me and purchased a few things. Okay, you guys, before I start unboxing for you, I'm going to explain what I have here and what they are and what they're used for. And then I will unbox and show you exactly what came in the packages, how they work, and any more details that you would like to know, please comment down below and I will make sure to get back to each and every one of you. I will also have everything that you see on this table in the link description so you guys can click on them and see what I got and you know decide if you want to get them too. I'm gonna start off right now with the liquid container that I purchased from my local nail supply store. Um, this was actually a dollar, really cheap, and they have alcohol ones, cuticle oil ones, lotion, pretty much all kinds of products they make um, this container for, and this one is specifically for monomer. I have here, I actually got this from Walmart. Um, I think it was no more than $3. Um, I was going to purchase this on Amazon, but I saw it at Walmart for cheaper, so I just grabbed it. But this is just pure acetone. I have used this um, when I just painted my nails with regular polish. And this um, acetone is really good. So I highly recommend this. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description box so you guys can check it out for yourself. Okay, as you guys see here, I have a practice hand that I purchased on Amazon. I'm not sure how much it costs, but I really love this hand. I have not yet used it at all. Um, this hand is really good. Whatever the price was, I highly recommend it. When you are done doing a nail, you can just pop it off. Or, you know, if you mess up, it comes with a whole bunch of replacements so that you can um, pop them back in and start over or simply just, you know, start a new project whatever you're working on but i highly recommend this hand and it comes this is already attached to it so it comes and basically what you do is you screw this onto your table and no you don't need a drill or nothing um and yeah pretty much it just stays on your table sturdy so it's not wobbling around so i do suggest that you use you know a table that doesn't move too much so you're able to file and work and do things with a sturdy surface okay my dampen dishes i got these on amazon as well i think these were six bucks um these are for your monomer and what you're going to be using these for is you're going to pour some monomer in here you're going to take your acrylic brush you're going to dip it tap it you know whatever your method is to doing your acrylics and this is pretty much what these are for um yeah and it comes with two so definitely worth the five six bucks that it costs all right right here is my stones that i also purchased on amazon for i think about 16 dollars um i think it's really worth it it comes with colored stones um sizes big um i wouldn't say these are that big but they're pretty good size um to the very tiny ones and it also comes with the regular diamond ones as well um this package also came with some tweezers but 
I prefer the pen looking thing. I honestly do not know what this is called, but I, like I said again, I'll leave the link in the description box. This is um the another thing you can use to apply your diamonds. And I really like this part right here. This part is really good. It like holds the diamonds really well so you can place them correctly and accurately where you want to. So right here, I have my cuticle pusher and I got this on Amazon. I'm not sure how much this costs, but this is to, you know, clean up the cuticles. Nail tips. As you can see, they have the numbers on them. I actually used one to pop my acrylics off. That's kind of why my nails look terrible. But yeah, I think these are really good. They're not too flimsy or anything. Um, I have not yet tried these, so we'll see. And these I did purchase on Amazon as well. Okay, so I got these two buffers from my nail supply store. Um, I think they were $2 each, but they're pretty, you know, rough and I think they'll be good. I really trust my nail supply store. So yeah, these are some buffers. This dust remover brush. I'm kind of disappointed in this product. Honestly, I got this on Amazon, but I was catfished by the picture because this is pretty small. If you guys can see, it is not big at all. The brush is very straight, but the bristles are soft. So I do trust this to remove dust, just not as big. So, you know, it would kind of just be finger by finger, but that's all They're right. my nail files. I got these on Amazon as well. Um, I have not yet tried them, but they are 100 and 180. As you guys should know, um, the bigger the number, the softer it will be. So if you're using natural nail, you use 180. And if you're using it on acrylics to shape them or whatever, you would use 100 because it's more rough. So yes, I got these on Amazon and these are pretty cheap as well. So I did see everybody using the KDS. I didn't get that glue because honestly, I feel the Kiss um, nail glue will work just fine. Um, when I was younger, I used to use this to put uh, press-on nails. So if it can keep my press-ons on, it will definitely hold a tip that's going to be under acrylic. These were only a couple dollars too, and I got this from Walmart, as well as these straight edge clippers. Um, these are gonna be used to, you know, for like coffin or stiletto shape, you know, trim off the side or simply just cut down, or you could use these to cut your nail tips. Um, yeah, this was literally like a dollar and some change at Walmart as well. Edge cutter I got on Amazon. It is to cut off the acrylic tips. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I really don't remember the prices, but like I said, I'm definitely going to make sure I include all of that in the link below so you guys can know how much everything is. But like I said in the beginning, I did spend about a good $300 on all of these products but it is all worth it because it is good quality um stuff is going to last you a long time um if you're beginning it is okay and do not feel ashamed to get cheap things because you know you're just starting off so here i have my rhinestone glue um this actually has to be cured in a uv light and that's why i like this so your stones stay on longer I got this on Amazon as well. It comes with three brushes. Um, I'm not sure exactly what these are for, but I will figure it out and let you guys know once I do. These are some gel colors that I purchased on Amazon and it comes with 18 pieces. Um, it also comes with a base and top coat. These are those up here. Um, these are the colors. Um, these do have to be cured in a UV light but they are good quality and yeah they're only $30 on Amazon so these are some more gel colors it comes with 20 and I got this on Amazon for $30 as well this does need to be cured in a UV, UV light um so I already kind of opened this box and labeled the colors just so I could see them but it comes with a top coat um base coat and this one is a top coat to make it matte instead of, you know, glossy and shiny. So these are the colors that come in this. Ow. 
and these are some bright ones. They're more pigmented, but this is just what I put on the sticker. And it does come with these stickers, so you're able to label your polish. This is my nail primer and dehydrator. I got this on Amazon as well. Um, I don't remember how much this was, but um, yeah, I know none of this stuff on Amazon was that much. This here is my nail drill. Um, I will show you the actual product when I open the box, but I got this on Amazon as well. And I think this was like 20 something dollars. Young Nails Nail Liquid. Um, this is their monomer. And I also picked up their Speed Clear Acrylic. Um, this was $18 at my nail supply store. And this was 45 at my nail supply store. And this is 32 ounces. And this comes with 85 grams of acrylic powder. Lastly, this is my UV light. I got this on Amazon as well. And I think this was either $40 or $50. Um, I've used it to just paint my little sister's nails. And I really like this. It cures the gel polish really well. Um, it's self-activated. So all you have to do is put your hand in and it turns on. It also has buttons on the back side that you can put from... 60 to 90 seconds actually i think it has 10 seconds as well and then on this pink thing which i'll show you guys when i'm finished unboxing um you can change the color from pink gray to white just this little rubber thing it's where the hand is rested on the uv light what the nail drill looks like out of the box it comes with um i think a hundred sanding bands i'm not sure exactly how many are in here um it comes with the other um inserts you can use um your cable which has a switch where you can um control the speed the nail drill um and that's pretty much it okay you guys so i got a little impatient and i started practicing on my hand as soon as i was finished filming for you and i did an awesome job i'm so proud this is the outcome my shape is amazing and I have faith that you guys will be just as good. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it's very helpful for you and please let me know if you guys want to see me practice or what content you guys would like to see on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video.